Chris Como learns the hard way not to cross Candace Owens. You have to check it out. You don't think we should have ID while acknowledging the influx of people at the border and pretending that you there's some study that shows that there's not actually fraud. While Every also, study. While also acknowledging that you have no idea because you can't give them ID. You can't give them ID. How, how can you, if you're saying you can just go in and you can vote, right? And you're saying we know there was no fraud. It defies common sense, right? So what are you defending when you say something like, I do not believe that Americans should have to have ID. What are you actually defending and protecting? ID to vote. Um, I, one, do not believe that you're a government remedy away from the problem. Two, I respect the data, and they keep looking at this, keep trying to find that people are voting illegally. Who, who specifically? What, what, what study? Who did the, the study The Heritage show? Foundation, the Cato Institute, places on the right, places on the left, the government. I mean, look, you can say, oh, they're all bought off by Big Pharma or whatever. I'm just saying they study this all the time trying to catch illegal voting. <clears throat> catch it. And if you catch it, then make the case. Look, you, you lock me into a yes, no. I say no because I'm not a fan of it as a remedy. I, I think there are policy arguments See, against it. I don't want it, it as a remedy. I want it as just a full stop rule look, that you should have to have do, an ID to vote. I'm not trying to fix it. That it can't, it's necessarily going to be broken if we do not have a system then, in which we know. But where is the proof that there's all this illegal voting? Well, but, but he, well hold on. If you, if, you, if you have to mail in your vote but don't show any ID or any proof, that's well, yeah, look. They can't, they can't when, catch you can't ever catch when that you guy. go and vote, right? You go there. They open the book in front of you, right? They say, "Where do you live?" You have this little card that they've sent you, right? They see your address. You know, they say, if, you, if, you, "If they see that you're me, they say, who are you voting for, Chris?" Which is really great. Um, and then they mark you off in the book. All right. So it's not that you just come in and you do it and you go. Do I think that's the best system? Of course not. Would it be better if you know who everybody is? Yeah, of course, from a safety and security standpoint, fine. Well, then why are you against it? Because two things, three things, really. One, I'm not a big fan of more government involvement in the lives of people. Two, Does I don't know the proof. I, well, I'm just, look, I, look again, government. you don't have to, it is the government. It no, absolutely is the government. government because you already have an ID to do everything they, but else. But these people don't have IDs, and that's the point. If you said point. you have to get a, like, a, go out and get a special different from your that driver's different. license ID, that would be asking Chris, for more you, government. are you trolling right now? I, I don't know about you, but I never watch Chris Como. If I can help it, I avoid him. But when I come across videos where he's actually either in an interview or talking with someone that I do like, like Candace Owens, then I'll take a second to watch it. And when I was watching this video, it just reminds me how Chris Como is always the same way. He is so such on his high horse, right? He feels that he is like high and mighty. And he is either talking all the time about how fit he is, or he threatens to beat someone up. So when this guy or this woman in the crowd um, called him a name, and he's like, he's like, yeah, go ahead and sign a waiver if you're going to call me a name, and then uh, then let's let's go at it, right? So they don't sue him. So he, you know, he does that thinking that is showing that, oh, he has a lot of confidence. No, Chris, it shows that you lack confidence. It shows that you have an insecurity um, problem with yourself and it does not show strength. It shows stupidity and it shows more people just not liking you. So lose that. Um, and as far as him like spitting out um, stats or organizations that support that voter um, um, ID and uh, you know um, abuse is is, happen is not happening. Like there is no um, there is no one going around illegally voting, right? Um, as far as his stats that he uh, pointed out, I wish that Candace or or someone else in the other panel um, shoot out. Um, companies that did research and did um, surveys and did in um, ha have data out there because they are out there showing how fraud did happen um, with voting because that would have shut uh, Chris down. Um, but as far as, um, you know, Candace just putting him in his spot and just <laughs> And just telling him when you have ballots to fill out and you literally see with your own eyes people stuffing it in, 
then you can't deny that voter fraud did not take place. So I did like when she uh, kind of put that fact out there, but I just wish they, that on the other side, they were able to put some um, facts out there or um, showing that, yeah, voter fraud did take place.